हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल द लेस इज मोर सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एन एडिटोरियल फ्रॉम द हिंदू एंड इट इज़ अबाउट जी ट्वेंटी समिट ओके एज द इंडिया इज होस्टिंग जी ट्वेंटी समिट दिस ईयर एंड नॉन अनदर डे इट इज ऑन दी टुमारो ओके सो let's see what has written in the editorial okay what has been written so india's big moment moment as host of the g20 summit will arrive this weekend as world leaders gather in new delhi for the main event marking the year of its presidency the group is seen as a more egalitarian version of the g7 as includes the leadership of the developing world and is now the preeminent forum for global economic cooperation at the start of its presidency last december it was clear that india would be hamstrung by several events the global economic headwinds exacerbated by the covid-19 pandemic meant a challenging environment for new delhi in ensuring that all countries were willing to contribute resources for imperatives such as climate finance investment in health and poverty alleviation the ukraine conflict and the sanction against russia were next practically splitting the g20 down the middle this made forging a joint statement even last year difficult but indonesian president joko widodo was able to ensure a tenuous consensus by traveling to moscow and kyiv and enlisting india's support india's presidency also came amid continuing bilateral tension with china over its border moves this has become an additional problem for india's g20 sherpa team as china has played spoiler at many meetings the government's decision to hold the g20 summit two months early instead of in november the practice has given officials less time to ensure that the leaders declaration is ready some of the heavy lifting on building consensus will now be left to prime minister narendra modi to handle in the face of such odds india's effort to ensure the vitality of the g20 process have been valiant and also a well thought on mr modi made it clear from the beginning that india would not take sides in the ukraine conflict and instead focused on issues affecting global south holding summit of developing countries putting issues of fl- food fertilizer energy security multilateral reform and global governance above geopolitical issues india even hosted the voice of global south summit mr modi also championed the induction of african union into the g20 which will be a feather in india's cap if it goes through internally the indian g20 presidency has been marked by distinct effort to democratize the process by holding 220 meetings across 60 220 meetings across 60 indian cities which though colossally expensive has ensured a showcasing of india's diversity india's G20, g20 moment is already memorable but the days ahead will be crucial in cementing its legacy that legacy hinges on that legacy hinges on ensuring a truce among its fractious members that allows for a consensus over the vision of one earth one family one future in the next few days okay so this was the editorial for today so what was the objective for india's g20 presidency this year issues focus on issues affecting global south such as poverty and health food fertilizer
एंड एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी मल्टीलेटरल रिफॉर्म एंड एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी सो दीज आर दी वर्ड्स यू यू कैन से फॉर टूडे एंड द क्रक्स ऑफ द एडिटोरियल ग्लोबल गवर्नेंस okay so this was for today yes another induction of african union okay so this was for today guys yes and another is 220 meetings across 60 indian cities so this was for today guys i hope you would be understanding and please comment in the comment section the five new words that you find appropriate for yourself okay to use in your daily conversation as well as writing so till then bye bye signing off for the day